Larry. Yeah, well, how do you feel about Larry? That's the good thing. I love Larry's work. Initial yes. impressions. Yeah. It's awesome. Would you, would you say that uh, that you, you've been around enough of Larry's work now to see it evolve? Yeah. I don't know that I've ever thought about it that way. I mean, because you have. You've been, you've been a part of it. Well, enjoy your evening, and uh, we'll make sure this makes a like, big part of it. Thanks. So, yeah. We're here, and uh, um, and this is a member of the underground. Obviously. I'm Joe Lynn. What do you think of all the work here? He's insane. He's insane. And how many dots would you say are employed here in this work? Um, Millions, yeah. and if you've ever watched Larry work, you'll understand that. A day before I had to get the artwork here. Oh wow! Yeah. Cutting it close. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. I, I, uh, I was, I was, I was excited. in my mind I should work bigger than yeah. I was never. I, I really like it. I mean, it takes a lot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I like. I really like. Uh, the way you get different textures is amazing to me. I just think, oh, wow. think that it would just be like lines and dots and stuff like that. You just get an amazing. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's some of it's just pure stippling, and some of it it's like, you know, what can I do to get the texture out of it? Some scribbles and, and pops of ink and then a lot of dots of different sizes and tighter and looser. And, no, it's, uh, it's and, I, and, and no straight lines unless it's by accident. I never measure anything or put straight edges in. What I, what I like to do is I just like yeah. to walk up and count the dots. I don't know if yes. you do this, but <laughs> I, have some free time on I do, I do. It's a, if I was in prison, I just want four Larry drawings. And then I, every day, and then just count To them infinity out. and yeah. beyond. Yeah. Right. I think they're great. Uh, I, I particularly like his uh, his location drawings, like of places around the Twin Cities, um, neighborhoods. They have a pretty high level. But it gets better and better. And you, can, you can see the depth really starting to uh, enter into. As somebody who has done stippling myself, I, I, I can't believe how, like, how perfectly precise his, his images are, and they're so huge. <laughs> you know me, I like to work very small, yeah, so yeah, when I see, right. I see the combination of stippled and large format, it just like boggles my mind. So I can see you putting a drawing in maybe 30 Larry Dots. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> within, the, within the perimeter of 30 this Larry Dots. What? I mean, besides Larry's uh, continuous pestering, <laughs> what decided to make you uh, give him a show here at the gallery? What what, what um, appeals to you about this work? Well, as he he pointed out earlier when he was talking, it's different, and I wanted something different because um, I love paintings, I love landscapes, and traditional, more traditional things. But it's fun to also in a gallery kind of push the edge a little, and I think he does that. Um, the, a lot of the pieces are familiar in what they are, like some of them are even in Highland Park, but I think that um, the way he does it is just different, and I like that. I love when someone can look at, let's say, a person or something and draw them exactly where it looks like a picture, a photo. But I think it's also more interesting if someone can take that person and they've got movement to their body and something different. It's just it's just interesting as an onlooker. Um, I feel like his or there's a personality to them. Uh, you almost feel like you're getting to know Larry through his pieces. So to me, that's appealing. Like there's life in them. Yeah. Last call. No. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. No, I won't keep this, or I will keep this brief. I just wanted to thank you all for coming. Um, myself and Larry and all of us at Frameworks um, just really appreciate how you support the arts. Uh, every time we have an opening, and um, Larry is, is amazing uh, at what he does, I can't imagine all the time that these pieces took. So thank you so much for having them in our gallery. We're very honored. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to thank you, and I think Larry just wanted to say something quick too. Um, thank you. Uh, I, I, I have to say thank you to, to Maddie and her team. You really set this up nice and, and 
and spelled everything correctly, especially my name, which almost everyone <laughs> gets wrong. And, 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 and thank you all, really, for, for coming. I know my art is different. It's not painting. And uh, I, was, I was very nervous that what if nobody shows up? But this is really cool. So thank you. And if you have any questions about the art or any of the work, um, I, I'll be glad to t tell you anything you want to know. If you have embarrassing questions, I'll, be, I'll tell, you, tell you that too. So um, thank you. And please enjoy it and, and have some wine and beer and food. And, and, uh, yeah. Um, actually, some of my favorites are way down there. Yeah, let's look at them. Let's look, yeah, yeah, let's look through um, them. This first one is really nice. I think okay. that this is a really nicely done. Uh, <laughs> my personal favorites are this one. Oh, yeah. And, and for me, I spent six weeks in Brazil. So when I saw these, um, the favelas are like heartbreaking and like they really um, you know the, the people there it's like oh their situation but there's also a beauty in them and he I I love them both I think I this is probably why I told Larry I might buy this one <laughs> um, just because it it just captures what they look like and and in the midst of it being heartbreaking they choose to use all these colors I mean let's face it this is this is a lot of dots to deal with. I know, they make me very nervous. Uh, I think the most stunning thing about Larry's show is seeing it all together, because you see one of its pieces on its own and it's marvelous to look at. I mean, like you said, you want to get up close, you want to see all those dots together, but when you step away with all of it together, it's, I mean, it's really mind-blowing. Do you have a favorite, Sid? I mean, that you would... Um, I was saying earlier that I really like this one here. Okay. Um, because I'm also, I'm like a really uh, fan of old houses and buildings. So sure. you get to see that character and how, like he says, he doesn't really, if he has any straight lines, it's by accident. And I feel like that happens over time to these old homes too. Um, That's right, yeah. Good and point. I actually really like, just because it's different than the rest, the one with color on the end. Oh, the favelas, yeah. Yes. That's also Mandy's favorite. Is it really? Yeah, 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 funny enough. Yes. She and I have similar tastes, too. Yeah, so it just stands out to me just because it's a little bit different, but the choices of colors he used, I think, are still pretty subtle. Yeah. So, I don't know, works really well. Personally, I enjoy that because I'm of Irish heritage and everything, and I think it's kind of funky. Right. Right. It, it reminds me of uh, another artist, Stephen Gamel. I don't know if you know him, but he did the, uh, the Scary Stories books. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. And I could kind of see that style. I don't want to be on video. I didn't two years ago. Oh, and no, I just was. I'm very proud of him. That's, that's really amazing, and I'm very, very proud of him. And I, I think you saw the glimpses of big artists and him when I first met him, but I could never imagine that it would turn out into such a big beautiful production. Yeah, I couldn't even draw a straight line when I met her. I still I can't. Know. I still can't I draw still a straight line. <laughs> I, any straight lines in my artwork are purely accidental. Uh, accidental. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, mean, I feel great. Well, you're also, yeah, you're also beautiful. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Good night.